name is Chrissy Beltran and I'm with Buzzing with Miss B and I'm here today to share um, a product line with you that might help you out in your classroom. One of the things that I really believe in is um, providing students with the direct and explicit instruction in using reading strategies. And something that our programs don't always allow for is providing direct instruction and in using reading strategies. Um, in order for students to really understand and internalize how to use comprehension strategies and move those strategies into their independent reading, we have to provide a sequence of instruction that allows them to do that. We can't just say, today we're going to work on sequencing events, and the next day we're going to work on uh, visualizing important details, and the next day we're going to work on asking questions. We want to spend time on each strategy and encourage students to practice those strategies in different ways and then move them into their independent reading. And so I've devised um, a product line that will hopefully help you do this and I'm going to continue adding different strategies as I, as I get to them. Um, some, one of the strategies that I'm going to share with you today, uh, a sample, is um, sequencing events and it's actually my best selling product so I'm thinking a lot of teachers have students who struggle in that area. Um, what I do in, in each of these products is I start with a concrete hands-on activity, something that will help students have an anchor to go back to as you uh, move through this, the sequence of instruction. After that, students are provided with a, a little poster or a chart that will help them um, think about the important components of that strategy and uh, provide some sentence starters for them to speak about whenever they're using that strategy. I provide a guided practice piece, um, a practice piece where students can actually uh, work on their own at differentiated levels, and then independent practice where students apply it into their independent reading. So I'm just going to share those materials with you today to see if maybe they're going to help you out um, in reaching some of those kids that have struggled with maybe the materials that you currently have. Um, this is uh, an example of the concrete activity that I use to start sequencing events. Um, each group receives a different set of, of event cards. And they're all about Mrs. Thomas and different things she's doing throughout the day. So within, like, let's say this is group A, this is group B, there's group C and group D. Every group has their own little set of events, and that team has to work together collaboratively to figure out what a reasonable sequence of events um, would be using these event cards. And then, after they have put all of their events in order, they have to communicate throughout the classroom with other groups. They have to present their sequence and figure out, oh, group A's events come before group B, but group C's events come before group A. They have to put everybody's events in order to tell the sequence of events throughout the day. And they have to use logic to do that because it's not explicitly written anywhere. Um, kids have to figure out, well, obviously, if she's pouring milk into the cake batter, she must have bought the milk earlier in the day. So they have to use some reasoning strategies to figure that out. After kids have done that, after they've participated in a hands-on activity to help them be introduced to the strategy, um, I provide that little chart. This is a sample from my Analyzing Characters pro uh, mini pack, and it shows um, the definition of what the strategy is, using details in the text to describe characters' traits, um, to ask good questions about characters, you read the text, you hunt for details about the character, you think about what those details could mean, and you describe the character. And these are the uh, sentence starters that you can actually use to describe characters. I can tell blank is blank because, and when I read blank, I knew blank. And so this can help students with responding orally and in writing to their reading. The next piece is a guided practice piece. And so referring back to your chart, um, I provide a one-page text that is really focused on that specific strategy. So for example, in the sequencing events piece, the whole text provides opportunities for kids to think about the order of events um, and to understand what must have happened before the story starts and what is reasonable to happen after the story starts to kind of encourage some higher order thinking skills. Um, on the side, in the margins, I've included guided questions that will help you think, they'll help you lead your, your, your think aloud and will help you provide opportunities for students to stop and think about the evidence that they've just read and apply that specific strategy that the text is focused on. Um, this piece is really helpful um, in, in order to, for students to understand and internalize a strategy. We have to be good models of that strategy. And so this provides an opportunity for you to model, think aloud through the text, and use these questions to help students analyze the text using that strategy. After that is, um, is a practice piece, and so I created some little task cards at three different levels. There's level A, B, and C, and that way you can differentiate student practice based on the needs of students in your classroom. Um, each level has a different type of question. So there's a little piece of text focused on that specific strategy. This is from my point of view pack. Um, and so this specific text is written from the first person point of view. And so students at this level are asked to identify, just simply identify the point of view that the story is told from. And there are three different options within this level. At level B, students are actually, actually asked to figure out what information would be different if the story was told from a different point of view. So we're, we're kind of increasing the level of difficulty and challenge there. 
And um, in this, they have, this is about the information students wouldn't know if it was told from a different point of view. At level C, students have to figure out if the story was told in this point of view, how it would be completely different. And so um, they have, and it's, the text level is also a little bit more complex. And so I try to increase the level of complexity each time as students move from A, B to C. You could take students through all the all those levels of cards, or you could say, you know, this specific group I'm going to target with this specific skill because that's what they need. Um, the next step, of course, is to move it into their independent reading. And this is probably the piece that gets um, ignored the most because of time constraints. Um, or because of the way programs are designed to work. If students don't internalize a skill and move it into their independent reading, to their own selected texts, then they don't really have that skill or strategy. They've just used it for the purpose of whatever we've done with them, but they're not going to use it on their own. And so I provide two tools to help kids do that. This is from my Analyzing Point of View product. These are little bookmarks that help kids remember the important components of that specific skill or strategy and um, what to think about to use that strategy as they read. And then I also provide a little independent reading response guide. For the sequencing events pack, for example, there are two different versions. Uh, it has students record the evidence um, of important events in their piece, and it gives them sit and starters to use to write a little response using um, the evidence that they gathered. And so this is a nice way to assess, are my kids able to use this independently, or do I need to take them back to some guided practice because they haven't internalized the strategy yet? So um, I just really wanted to share that product line with you today, my reading strategy mini packs, because a lot of people have given me some good feedback and said that it's made a difference in their classroom, and I hope it makes a difference in yours. If you are interested in checking these out, you can uh, take a look at my Teachers Pay Teacher store, which is Chrissy Beltran, C-H-R-I-S-S-Y-B-L-T-R-A-N. Uh, you can check me out at Buzzing with Miss B on Twitter, Instagram, or Pinterest. You can visit my Facebook page, Buzzing with Miss B, or you can visit my blog, www www.buzzingwithmissb.com. Um, I hope that this uh, little talk helped you out today, gave you some things to think about, even if you don't use these products, that guided, that guided instruction so all the way through to independent practice is an important component of the gradual release model. So uh, that's something you can apply into anything that you teach. So I hope that helped you out um, and happy teaching.